Hello everybody, it's me Logan, and today I'm doing some Shovel Knight. I already this is on the Nintendo Switch, it's the Switch version. And I'm gonna go with the uh just the normal Shovel Knight campaign today. Uh so we're we're just gonna keep it simple. Our guy is gonna be Bob. Oh no not not Bob with two B's. It's too many B's. Uh, nah. I'll just do it normal. Alright, so this is Shovel Knight, it's a, um, it's an 8-bit, I think it was 8-bit, I think you'd call it 8-bit, uh, retro-styled game, retro-styled platformer, side-scroller, um, and yeah, it was, it was kickstarted to get it, you know, going, it was made by Yacht Club Games, so yeah, it's really fun, um, and uh, you're the main character and you use a shovel uh, to break stuff, break like dirt and stuff. And one more interesting piece of trivia is, well I'll show it in a second once I can show it again. Um, here we go. So you have to do it here. This little shovel drop shovel knife does that bounces off, it's a reference to DuckTales where Scrooge McDuck, um, he uh, bounced off his cane. Pretty sure it didn't happen in the show though. Pretty sure Scrooge McDuck didn't go bouncing off his cane. Just in just randomly an episode of DuckTales. Which they are actually bringing back. Chaw. Chaw. There we go. So yeah, Shovel Knight's a very popular <laughs> game. Um, it's the first non-first party game to get uh, its own amiibo for Nintendo. Um, Ow, that was a stupid way to get hurt. Oops, bounce on the sleepy dragon. Kinda jerk me the rust. Poor sleepy dragon. But yeah, it was the first not it is the only actually at the moment still. Uh non nin, non first party Nintendo game to get an amiibo. It was also introduced by the Game Grumps. Uh so yeah. Uh there's also at the moment two other campaigns. The uh Spectre of Torment and Plague of Shadows. Plague of Shadows is sh uh, Plague Knight. Spectre of Torment is Spectre Knight. And there's supposed to be one more for King Knight. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be one more. Yeah, there is. Uh, we don't have information on it yet, but it's coming out. Alright. Let's just keep on going. Sorry about that. My computer died on me. I'm back. So, let's just get us some money. Those are, um, what I just collected is a music sheet. What you can do is, uh, later on we'll meet this character called the Bard. We can turn music sheets into them. He gives us 500 gold, and, uh, he can play the songs. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Nifty little way to, um, listen to music in-game, but also they added and the uh, Spectre Knight update, uh, they added the um, 
the sound test, which lets you hear any song uh, from whatever campaign you're doing. Like, any. So once I beat this, I could. Well, I already can since I beat it before. But uh, I can listen to any song that's in the Shovel Knight campaign. And then once you beat the Spectre Knight campaign, you can listen to any song in Spectre Knight. And yeah. So on and so forth. I really like this game. It um, it's ah, I missed the joke. It's very reminiscent of old NES and SNES games, and people like it for that. But you know, uh, I I was not born when the NES or the SNES came out. Um, so I just like it because it's really fun and uh, it controls really well. It feels nice to to use the characters. Uh, the backgrounds are really good and nice, and they, um, it's not, like, confusing, like, oh, what is that supposed to be? Like, that's obviously a waterfall and clouds and all that, so. I just could not get that one thing. Alright. But, yeah, let's just go. Oh, he's back. Alright. Ah, uh, no. Aha. Uh -huh. So, here we go, got that. Um. Uh, treasure. Chaw. There we go. And chaw. Oh. Didn't get me. Can't hit you, I just keep digging up gold. Guess you could say I'm a gold digger. Eh, eh. Alright, I'll stop. Um, there we go. Eh. There we go. Yeah. You already have a lot of money when you first come out of the stage. Because they, um, it's not easy to die in this stage, like, at all. Uh, oh, oops. One thing I really like here is how they, um, make the slimes, like, blend in with the grass. Like, because that's something that would happen, like, if this were real life, you wouldn't necessarily see the slimes, because they're the same color as the grass. Ah. Yay. Yeah, the first time I played this game, I, like, died right there, because I kept bouncing on his head. Ah! And so, um, when he died, I was on... Oh, wow. I died on the stage that's not hard to die on. Well, that's good. That's a good sign of what's to come, right? I just missed the jump. But yeah, I, uh, when I first played it, I died on him, that dragon, because, like, his head was over the pit, and I just didn't move forwards, so, like, I just fell straight on down. No, what? I slid. Yeah, one thing that does suck, though, is if you don't get your gold, uh, from when you die, which just happened to me, um, from when you died the previous, like, if you died two times in a row, like, what just happened? Uh, you don't get the gold from the first time you die, it'll just disappear altogether, which is... It's pretty annoying. And, like, you can die a lot later on in this game, so... It gets very annoying on hard stages, like, so... That's why, since i play played this game a fair amount now, I, uh, know which stages are hard and which aren't that hard. I mean, to me, personally, obviously, everybody has their own opinions. But, so, now... For myself, I know which stages to do last and like to spend my money before I actually get to those stages. So I can, you know, not just lose all my money. And yeah. That ain't moved. There we go. That's two. And three. Yay. Alright, here we go. There we go. So look at that pink diamond, eh? Surprised it's not shattered. Steven Universe jokes, anybody? Eh? 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 Is that like a seagull there? Eh? 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 Boop. Here we go. Get some more treasure. Or maybe that is Shattered Pink Diamond and she's just spread out all across the land. Is there a name for this land? I don't think they ever gave a name in the beginning. 
like when they were doing the whole prologue with how Shield Knight's, uh, like, gone. Or is she? No. But how Shield Knight's gone, and so, uh, I don't think they ever, uh, gave a name to the land. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. S the Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? Mm. This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Corridor stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! So let's go. Are you gonna laugh at me? See how well that pays out for you, huh? Yeah. Dang it. Yeah. Aha! I wish I could do that. Do I want to be cool? Making the Black Knight qu uh, campaign. Because he shows up in all the other uh, campaigns. Maybe that's like a secret thing they're going to do. I just have to hit him one more time. There we go. Aha! I did it! Yay! Sweet. Uh, but of course he's fine. He just runs away. Typical sore loser. Alright, well, after a good night of camping, or of camping, not after a good night of adventure, or a good day of adventure in time for a good night of camping. There we go. But Shield Knight's falling, right? No, she's not actually falling, sadly. It's just a dream. So we have to catch her. Okay, we caught her. Thank goodness, I didn't think we were at first. So you can't move, but you actually have to jump. And one thing uh, some people don't know is that if you dig in the fire, it's essentially like a gold pit. Or, a, yeah, I don't know what those are called. So yeah, and now the map has been cleared. So first, let's go visit the village before ending the episode. Halt, no weapons. We have enough to worry about uh, lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Wow, breaking the immersion, huh? So here we go, this is the bard. Hey, old traveler, I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lay scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Strike the earth, and, uh, yeah, he's just talking some music. So, yeah. So, this is the main thing, uh, and there's, yeah, and then the uh, prologue, this is, I don't know, I forget what that's one, and there's the town, let's do this one, wait, what does this lady do, I don't think I've ever talked to her, oh, okay, she doesn't do anything, uh, so you're gonna wanna talk to them, they're pretty important for now, but what you should do first is go talk to this guy, the truffle, truffle acolyte, uh, you want to buy both chalices of his, because uh, they're very helpful. Uh, so yeah, get both of those, and then you want to talk to Chester. So, actually, yeah, you don't need either of those things right now. I'd wait until later to get those. And then if you go over here, you need a sheet, another one. Uh, so here we go. Get me on the ladder up. You're going to want to also go over this way. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Oh, this guy. Oh, okay. Uh, so I need the milk lady to go this way, or water lady, I guess. Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. So now you're up here. You get all this. And another music sheet. So now you have two just from being in town alone. So we're gonna go head back to, uh, Bard. So, once we get there, of course. Uh, here we go. Yeah, he jumps whenever you have music sheets, so if you ever forget, like, you stop playing for a while, and you forget. Alright, so next, this is the, um, this is the, I forget what their real names are called, but this is the match assist, I know that one. So I'm going to get one magic drink to increase my magic, even though I don't have any items to use it yet. And the other one, uh, we buy this guy's meal ticket. And then the, uh, the chef, or what's it called? The gastronomer, okay. Uh, so he'll get really, a really fancy recipe, he's a good chef. And then, we get the recipe, and ching that looks like feel. And now our total life is increased, so yeah. That's basically it, I'll show you what to do with these truffle chalices next time. So, and next time we'll be taking on, uh, the first member of the Order of No Quarter, King Knight.